Chapter 98, Flying Sword, Flying Sword, Flying Sword. The silver pills that Njauk socks we gave him seem to be made out of the same material. As the silver nameplate in the vacuum silver foil bottles used for training one's mind power. However, the feedback he got from his mental senses when he held it in his hand was different. The silver nameplate was relatively lighter. When his mind power sank into it, it was as if the fish had returned to the water. However, the silver pills were a little heavy. At least, it was heavier than the soybeans that Zutui had used previously. It was much smaller than a soybean, almost half the size of a soybean. However, the texture was extremely strong and had immense destructive power. Perhaps it was because the silver pills were a little heavier and had a stronger texture. Or perhaps it was because the silver pills had been fused with other metals. But after the mind power sank into the pills, it no longer had the same affinity it had as the silver nameplate. Instead, he felt a little sluggish. He should need more mind power to activate it than the silver nameplate. He slowly sank his mind power into the pills. He felt a heavy sensation. It was a little strenuous. However, Zutui had already reached his limits with the 20-gram vacuum silver tantalum bottle. He was about to switch to the heavier 100-gram bottle. There was even less of a need to mention how his mind power had been enhanced. After he was administered with the genetic transcriptional fluid. The silver pills only weighed 4 to 5 grams. After the initial sluggishness, it was rather easy for Zutui to control the silver pill with his mind power. Soon, the silver pill could move as he pleased within the 7 meter radius of Zutui's mental senses. Furthermore, the sound of objects piercing through the air rang out as Zutui accelerated. Zutui suddenly became excited. Active Attack Ability This was the first active attack ability he obtained after entering the Enlightened Mind type. He did not count in the ability of Mental Whip for the time being. Judging from the speed, it was faster than the soybeans that Zutui shot out with his bean flicking technique. Furthermore, the strength of the alloy silver pill was more than double that of a soybean. It was more than eight times that of a soybean. Their destructive power was completely different. Zutua excitedly started to try and control more of the alloy silver pills. According to Zutua's thinking, he should be able to control at least five of the alloy silver pills with the strength of his mind power. Controlling five alloy silver pills to injure the enemy within a seven meter radius would guarantee a guaranteed hit. That was very impressive. He was comparable to a pea shooter. However, when he started to do it in practice, Zutui realized that his expectations were different from reality. The difficulty and consumption of controlling an additional alloyed silver pill was doubled. Zutui could still smoothly control two of the alloy silver pills. But if he were to control three of them at the same time, it would be very difficult for him to control them as smoothly. It was only at this moment that Zutui understood the value of the Black Crown Queen Bee's Mind Power Crowd Control Ability. Try superimposing the mental chain onto the silver pills. Use it on one, and Zhao Xu's voice suddenly rang out. She had come over after she answered the call. All right. The next instant, a silver pill flew out of the hall like a silver shooting star and instantly reached the end of the tunnel. It was roughly a hundred meters away. Even though Zutui was already finding it difficult to traverse the 100 meter distance. He should be able to travel a little farther if he pushed his limits. Let's see if you can retrieve it in one piece. Whoosh! Under the control of the mental chain, the alloy silver pill spun backward. Even though Zutua's mind power was forcefully controlling its speed, it was still too late. The silver pill crashed heavily into his chest. Even though he had kept most of his strength, the impact still caused him to grunt in pain. And Zhao Xoxui rubbed her forehead when she saw the situation. She had a look that said Zutui was beyond help. Can't you get it to turn around and slow down? Zutui was speechless. Not bad. To be able to control the silver pills to such an extent, you are qualified to take this gift. While she was speaking, and Zhao Xoxui took out a small, exquisite box and placed it in front of Zutui. What's this? Open it and have a look. Okay. The box was very small, and the gifts inside were also very small and silver in color. It was exquisite and ingenious. At first glance, Sutui thought that it was a silver nameplate. 
Upon closer inspection, he realized that it was not a silver nameplate but a sword. It was the alloy silver tantalum sword. However, the sword was extremely small. It was only 2.5 centimeters long, and the widest point of the blade was 0.4 centimeters. However, the blades on both sides looked extremely sharp. They were faintly exuding a cold aura. What shocked Zutur the most was. FCAC, Thetany Sword had a blood groove that looked like a streamline. If it was magnified several times, it would definitely be filled with killing intent. Zutu's eyes suddenly widened. No, it did not have to be magnified several times. It should also have a murderous aura now. Have you thought about it? And Zhao Xaxui asked with a smile. Flying flying sword, a flying sword that can behead a person a hundred miles away that I've only seen in television dramas? It's a little difficult to do it 100 miles away, however, you can still do it within 100 meters. Oh, FCAC, Zutui could not help but exclaim. This item was a lethal weapon, even though it was a little heavier than the silver pills, if it was practiced. The sword would be able to pierce through a person's ear from 100 meters away. That. How is it? Do you like the gift? And Zhao Xaxui asked. I like it. I like it too much. The flying sword is too cool. Zhu Tui had the urge to hug and Zhao Xaxui. All right, put it away first. You can slowly familiarize yourself with your new toy later. Go and fetch someone from the tunnel entrance now. And Zhao Xaxui instructed. Who? You'll know when you get there. Oh, and bring him up after more than five minutes. I need to clean up a little. While she was speaking, and Zhao Xaxui first took out a blue medical mask and put it on. It must be because she had to meet an outsider. Zhu Tui started to familiarize himself with his new toy while he was on the way to fetch the person. The flying sword was a little heavier than the silver pills. One silver pill weighed four to five grams. This meant that the flying sword must have weighed at least 10 grams. It was a little slower when he operated it, and the initial speed was also a little slower. However, once it started to accelerate, its acceleration was faster than the silver pills. It circled around Zutuis' body, even he was afraid of the cold light that flashed past his eyes. Zutui moved his consciousness before he walked into the elevator. The tiny flying swords that were circling around him suddenly flew out. They instantly appeared in the tunnel 100 meters away from him. It seemed as though it had passed through a piece of paper and pierced through the back of a chair at the end of the tunnel. It spun rapidly and instantly spun back. This time, Zutui learned his lesson. The flying sword spun once, then twice, before landing steadily in front of Zutui's chest. This feels so good, cool, other than the security guards, only a middle-aged man was standing in the public hall of the Genetic Research Institute. Zhu Tui could confirm with just one look that this middle-aged man was the person in Zhao Xaxui had asked him to fetch. The mental aura that the middle-aged man was exuding was too powerful. Zhu Tui restrained his mind power as he stood there. It felt like a small sun to his hazy senses. It was too dazzling. He was even stronger than in Zhao Xaxui. He was definitely an expert. Hello, are you Mr. Wei? I am Professor and student. I am here to fetch you, Zhu Tui said politely as he stepped forward. Wei De Jiang observed Zhu Tui. You must be Zhu Tui. I have an impression of you. We even discussed your matter during the school's meeting. Look at your mental aura. You've already completed the experiment and been administered with the elixir. What kinds of abilities did you obtain? This was the first time Zhu Tun had seen Wei De Jiang. However, he knew that the vice chairman of the Huaxia Genetic Evolution College's mystery branch was called Wei De Jiang. Judging from his tone, he must be that person. However, Wei De Jiang had revealed too much in his words. Zhu Tui, who did not know the situation well, decided to keep his mouth shut. He did not continue with his words. He swiped his card gently and opened the special elevator. Mr. Wei, this way please. Ha! Huh, you sure are alert. But that's good. Many of our students suffered greatly because they lacked such vigilance. This way, please. Zhu Tui did not respond to anything Wei De Jiang said. He slowly brought Wei De Jiang all the way to Research Institute Number 14. It had been more than five minutes since he arrived. 
and Zhao Xaxui, who had already put on her blue medical mask, was waiting at the door of the general hall. Mr. Wei, please have a seat. Zhu Tui, pour some tea for Mr. Wei. Hearing this, Wei Di Jiang let out a bitter laugh. Lass, you clearly know why I am here, yet you are still calling me Mr. Wei, aren't you making things difficult for me? Mr. Wei, I've attended your classes before and you have even carefully taught me. Even though I managed to enter the school of enlightened mind, you are still my teacher, and Zhao Xaxui said. Everyone's noses are rather sensitive, that's why I came to talk to you, Wei Di Jiang said. At this moment, Su Tui brought over some tea, he was about to leave when in Zhao Xaxui suddenly spoke. Zhu Tui, you should stay and listen too. You are now a member of Institute 14. You are just short of being assessed as an assistant researcher. I need you to know about the rest of the matters. While they were chatting, and Zhao Xaxui suddenly said to Wei Dijiang, Mr. Wei, look, there are only a few people in our Institute 14. Why not settle the matter of my student being an assistant researcher first? Hearing this, Wei Dijiang pointed at and Zhao Xaxui and laughed. He'll be angry at anyone who says that you are thin-skinned in the future. I have not even opened my mouth, yet you are already raising the conditions. At this point, Wei Dijiang suddenly looked toward and Zhao Xaxui and Zhu Tun and said, However, if that matter can continue, there shouldn't be any problems with him being an assistant researcher. We can't continue now. Reason? Wei Dijiang's expression suddenly became stern. 